What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the SoFi stock and we're also going to be covering the overall market. And if you find any of this information useful, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We will be keeping you updated daily on all of the breaking news. And also be sure to smash the like button and don't forget to drop a comment. What are your expectations for SoFi heading into these earnings? So we know that the big reason why the stock market absolutely got hammered today is because of that nonstop drama with Russia and Ukraine. Remember, Tuesday, there was a war. Wednesday, there was no war because Russia was retreating and now back to another day of war. So guys, the media is playing games with you guys, okay? They're calling for a war over the weekend. If there's no war on the weekend, there's going to be a war on Monday. It's going to be nonstop FUD. The only thing you could do if you're going to be a long-term investor is continue to average down once every Friday or once every two weeks. Just continue to buy the dip on high-quality companies that you truly believe in. Now, I've been hearing a lot of chatter about you know day traders you know saying they're killing it. That's not always the case. Data proves that over 80% of day traders lose within a year with uh, returns near negative 40%. So guys, you might hit it a couple of times and you might go on a little hot streak being a day trader, but you know the reality is a lot of day traders cannot keep the tempo up for more than a year, guys. And I'm telling you right now, the call options volume on the SoFi stock is absolutely incredible. Over 180,000 calls are gonna be smashed this Friday, guys. That's tomorrow. So I'm telling you right now, you need to be buying shares up on these dip buying opportunities and stop chasing the market when the market has a nice little reversal because they are pulling the rug extremely fast with this FUD on the news. All right, guys, and I'm active daily on Twitter now. The link is right there in my comments section. Be sure to follow the Twitter. I'm going to be keeping you updated on the market, updated on you know uh, things covering the SoFi stock, just keeping you updated in general. So be sure to follow the Twitter, guys. There's a lot of great info on the Twitter. And one last thing, guys, you can see my data on the YouTube channel. 51% of you guys are subscribed to the channel and 48% of you guys are still not subscribed. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. This is the number one channel covering the SoFi stock. That's over 5,000 of you guys not subscribed. So be sure to make an account if you don't have an account and stay updated on this YouTube channel with the SoFi stock. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're going to be moving extremely quick. Boom. Dow has its worst day of the year, falling 622 points amid Russia-Ukraine invasion fears. Also, the NASDAQ guys got hammered. Look at that, guys. NASDAQ down 2.88%, almost 3%. You know you need to be buying when the NASDAQ's tanking 3% when your company has no bad news at all. Click the six-month chart, guys. We are now back to a negative 14.5% correction, guys. This NASDAQ is completely toast. I'm telling you right now, tech stocks are where you want to be. You don't want to be in cyclicals at all-time highs. You don't want to be in oil at all-time highs. That's just these old grandpa investors playing it safe. Those have been, you know, doing well the past couple of months. Tech has been selling off for, you know, almost half a year. Look at the NASDAQ. No gains in one year, guys. You need to be in the highest quality tech stocks possible. And I'm telling you right now, there is not many of them. Take a look at these earnings, guys. Companies are getting toast left and right i mean we're almost done with all of the fintechs and it's been really bad we just need to cover two stocks really quickly guys take a look roku is down negative 19 percent in the after hours also 10 percent in the regular trading day why there's got to be a reason why roku dropped sharply on disappointing revenue and guidance guidance is going to absolutely destroy your stock 10 to 30 percent nine out of ten times you know, screw that. 10 out of 10 times, if you don't have that magical G word, you are screwed. Palantir reported earnings in the day, early morning, negative 15.7%. Palantir shares dropped more than 50% after earnings. Scroll down just a little bit. EPS was two cents adjusted versus four cents from the estimated. So guys, they missed on EPS by just two pennies. The stock got hammered. And also you can see here, you know, the revenue guidance was a little bit soft. Palantir said it expects $443 million in revenue for the first quarter. Analysts were expecting $439, so just over $4 million from the analysts. That's a bad guidance. They want to see big beats. You're going to go down. Guidance, guys, once again. Now take a look at the fintech technology e-commerce, guys. 
Everyone's got smashed. PayPal, Meta, Robinhood, Lending Club, Affirm, Roblox, Shopify, Roku, Palantir. Everything has got smashed. There has been one company to weather the storm. That is Upstart, guys. They reported an amazing, you know, guidance, a nice double B, and also share buyback. And you're going to get a 35% gain if you show an amazing guidance. So anyone, you know, in the stock market, I'm sure thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people are inside of these companies. We are, you know, really gambling right now. We don't know what to expect, but we have a lot of details to show that the management team for SoFi has been pivoting in a great direction to battle the student loans, you know, getting pushed back and, you know, coming up with different revenue streams to battle the storm. And they raised guidance for us in this recent earnings, Q4, and we got punished for absolutely no reason for raising guidance. So I'm telling you right now, this is a buying opportunity on the SoFi stock. We also got a bank charter license, gonna 10X our EBITDA. All right, guys, look at this video I just did, you know, two weeks ago, okay? SoFi stock, greed has destroyed SoFi. 120,000 calls expired worthless again. This is the highest level of calls I have seen. You know, in the past six months of watching the SoFi stock, 120,000 calls. Guys, I've been telling you to avoid the calls, just buy shares and wait for the company, you know, to set up for earnings and, you know, have a nice beat potentially and a guidance raise. That 120,000 calls was nothing. Take a look at February 18th, guys. 185,000 calls open interest. You don't think these big money makers are going to smash SoFi when they see something like that? We got absolutely hammered today, guys. SoFi stock was down 6.8% today, actually down 7%. And I was telling people on my Twitter, I'm, I was like, guys, they are definitely going to hammer this stock. It's going to get pinned at least. It didn't get pinned. They absolutely, you know, rug pulled this bad boy. And those calls are toast. Heading into tomorrow, I mean, we're barely going to see any movement, most likely. Maybe a small, small recovery. But this stock is most likely not going to finish anywhere near, you know, 13, 14, and 15. That's where all the massive call volume is right now so guys we need to stop buying calls and continue to buy shares because that's the only way we're going to get out of this mess is when the call volume finally dies down a lot guys you really need to go on my twitter and follow the twitter take a look at what i posted for you guys 119 million shares of sofi are sold short that's 19 percent of the entire free float they are treating the stock like a biomedical meme penny stock even after giving solid guidance buy shares shorts will be toast Hopefully SoFi comes in over 1.6 to 1.7 billion revenue guidance. And I also added Anthony Nono. So most likely he did see this. I'll just go in there and, you know, uh, like the uh, comment that I put for Anthony Noto. But just take a look, guys. If we just scroll back a little, 119 million shares right here are sold short. That's 19% of the entire float. So they're treating this stock like it has done absolutely nothing but put out bad guidance, bad numbers. You need to be buying up shares and taking advantage because we have a great 2022 heading our way because SoFi is now officially a bank and they're going to cut their cost in half. Going over to Fintel, just looking at the institutional ownership, we're still at about 53.2%. So no updates are coming in. I believe the last order we can see, take a look at one of these big banks, guys. These guys are adding heavy. We covered this one, but I just want new people to the channel to see Dolce's Bank. This is value change percentage. They increased their position by 2,000%, bringing them up to 2.7 million shares valued around $43 million. So guys, if this pulls a double, boom, they're at nearly you know $86 million of a holding already. So these are pretty big positions starting off, heading into these you know Q4 earnings. I personally believe you know SoFi will come in over 1.6 billion because I believe they're gonna add a ton of members in Q4 and also Q1 because of the playoffs, the Super Bowl, and also they're offering 1% interest that's a game changer that's 33x across you know the national average so SoFi is doing what they need to do to get members to their platform to get them started with either a credit card and then cross by them over with a private loan a mortgage loan or a student loan SoFi knows what they're doing and they said that you know the marketing right now is thriving to perfection it's just a matter of time when they start building up more and more customers, guys. I believe they're going to finish this year at about potentially 5.5 to 6 million for 2022. That's a ton of members. And remember, guys, there's 500 million accounts across all FDIC banks. So there's a ton of market share left to be ate up. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to get there. You just got to be patient and continue to buy these dips while the market has extreme volatility with Russia and Ukraine, nonstop drama, and also inflation at all time highs. I'm telling you right now, if that inflation comes back down to 6% or 5%, we are going to rally hard. That is going to be the bottom. The bottom is going to be in as soon as inflation reverses. So 
Be sure to buy every one to two weeks. That's the best thing you can do. And just avoid calls now until you know the market has a really big reversal because it is too early to play. These big money makers continue to smash calls on the weeklies. And if you made it to the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you. We know that SoFi has great management, guys. And I'm telling you right now, you need to be betting on management, okay? There's a lot of great companies out there, but there's not a lot of great companies with strong, strong elite management coming over from companies like Amazon, Tesla, Google, Twitter, NFL. This management team has come over to SoFi for a reason because they see a massive marketing opportunity. And these guys have millions upon millions of shares. And what do you think they want their shares to do? They want their shares to multiply. I'm telling you right now, I've been looking at a lot of these earnings report and a lot of these CEOs have a lot of excuses such as supply chain issues, etc. SoFi has no supply chain issues. It's a 100% digital product. We don't have a lot of overhead expenses like these banks and real estate, guys. We need to be patient because as soon as SoFi turns that first profit, it's going to be off to the races. And I'm telling you right now, I believe they can turn a profit in either Q1 or Q2 with the bank charter license. They had about 30 million losses in their last quarter. And I think it's going to get better, you know, right around, you know, the beginning of the year for 2022 with the Pagaya partnership, giving them access to more people that, you know, don't even have a 700 credit score and it's still not going to affect their credit risk. So we need to be patient and continue to buy shares. Once again, be sure to click the link in my comments section and subscribe to the, you know, Twitter account. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you are not already subscribed, we got over 5,000 people that have not, you know, either made an account or subscribed to the channel. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.